Now you're using a blue, Prussian blue. You're scrolling into the black, just above the black at the back of the head, and you're putting lots of pressure on so that the blue is pushed into the black so there's a soft transition, a blend through. Pressing on hard. As you come away from that, just soften, less pressure on, just just a sort of a softer feel of the pencil. But where the black is, just on the cap, just use the same principle. Really pushing it up and away. What you're trying to achieve really here is the feel of a cap, the roundness of the cap on the top of the bird's head. So it doesn't just feel like a flat bit of colour. You're creating a dark, shadowy cap at the bottom. And as you're coming away from that, just scroll the blue in bit by bit, putting the odd harder line in, but generally just keeping a light blue going up the top. The farther away from the, the black of the cap, the less pressure you put on. You're just gently easing it away. But working it back into that black. Just working it back. And then scrolling gently across the top to finish the shape of the head off. Now we did the same on the, on the bottom there. So along the bottom of that flash along the bottom was the same principle, just pushing the blue in. Now what you're going to do is go across the top of the head with a really hard pressure on the blue, sort of feathering it, so you're creating an illusion of the feathers lying. So you short, sharp strokes coming slightly forward and then curving back in the head. So you start on the top of the head, you're coming back towards the front and then working it backwards the line, so leaving a gap between each. So start with the front, sideways strokes, really hard pressure, and curving it down and over into the black part of the cap. So just a bit at a time, leaving that gap. You don't need to get every little one that's on there done. You'll be on forever trying to do that. Just working that back across there. Little individual strokes just crisscrossing and working back across. There's also a little line you'll notice just separates them. Just so another another dark line just separating them a little bit, pushing that back in there. And as you get farther back, the lines become just that little bit softer. So they're coming forward and then back across the top of the eye. Just working your pencil in a, a sort of a left to right direction putting more pressure on as you come into the, the blacker part. Do the same all the way back. Now as you get farther back, it does the pattern just breaks up a little bit. Just keep pushing it back into that eye. Right, we're on the last stage now. He's pressing the blue, still continuing to push it out the back of the head. These are hard, sharp lines. You then do the same as what you did on the cap on the bottom crest. You get a sharp blue and you do little feathering lines from left to right, crisscrossing them and curving them underneath the crest leaving a gap between each, working it down and just curving it gently so there's a little gap between each area. Very sharp lines, just working them down. Just starting to sense the pattern now. As you're getting to the back, it's just a little bit more haphazard, the lines. Just pull them out a little bit more darker and looser. Then get a white pencil and go over the top of the cup in between the dark lines and just press some little bits of white in. You're not really colouring hard, you're just pressing, putting some dots of white in so that you're creating a sense of light on the top of the cup. Little dots of white. And just work them down. You don't go all the way down, you just do them on the top part. And then a few little strokes just to the back. Come back and add a few little more. Just break them up a fraction. But it's just points with the pencil. You're not trying to do it too hard. Come down and do the same on the bottom part. Just a little pressure of, of white in, in some of the uh, lighter patches. Just 
dots of white pencil pushed on hard. That's it, just working back. Now establishing a nice pattern on the, on the head. A few lighter strokes just going out to the back. And a few smaller bits of white into there. And then lastly, get the pencil again. Yeah, if you finish now, you're just really sharpening any points up. So you're just going into the above the eye, under the crest, sharpening the eye up, sharpening the blacks up. Along the back of the head, a few strokes, and a few more strokes just on that bottom blue flash there. It's the same as what you did with the white, just a little pencil marks, just dark, just putting a little bit of hard detail into them. I think that's about it. Once you've done that, the head's done and we can move on to the body now. Very good.